Hello and welcome back to the county of Portsleydale. My name is Badger the British and on this show today I'm going to be showing you how I design my own little harbour area here. It's a little bit of a fantasy harbour type thing. It's not based on any Pacific one. I know that with uh, when you're facing an ocean you've got to protect it from the waves and stuff and that's why they put those walls in. You can, very, you can see that on the maps when you look at them. There's rough sea on the outside. And there's nice calm sea in the middle because of the sea walls they put in. So let's go ahead and get a cracking because it's been an age since we've done the last uh, fish video. Please ignore that. Uh, this is just a regular trout that comes through. And yes, yeah, so we did the fish farm here and we did our salmon farming over here. So we want to bring in a big farm over here. So first things first, we need to buy the square, which is right here. And we bought the square. And we come over here and look, we can see, oh, we've got this lovely big old area here. Now this is going to be great to bring out a harbour in. So first thing we got to do is to level out some harbour. I know this is like a fancy mod. and I know this is more of a vanilla series. But I don't really use it to its full purpose. So in my mind, it's okay. So here we go, we're just going to build this out like a blank canvas, throw it on free speed so the water can just play about and do what it needs to do. I'm going to push that ever so slightly over here. We kind of want this like a big fishing town over here. So I kind of want it like kind of natural and parallel to where this wall is going to be coming out and also to along here where we're going to put a bit of a beach in along there. Now we've just got to wait for all this water to smoothen off. So what if we used slope terrain? Oh no. See what I mean? No good at it. Oh, there we go. Soften terrain. That's what you want. And just right click and just drag that out so you get a bit more of a sandy shore up here. We want to pull that out all the way so we can make some beach front along here, hopefully. There we go. We'll see how that looks. Right, flatten that back. Oh, here we go. Wish me luck. Right, industry road. So this is going to be our sea wall defense coming in. Right here along this. Are we sure that's flat? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Had to double check. Oh dear. So this is going to be a fairly busy port. So we are going to make it a bit more extensive than the average port. This is going to be a fairly important industry to the townspeople. So here we go, that's our way into the port there. And we're going to want to cut it off. Just wait for that water to go and subside. Thank you very much. Oh, do like that. I do like that if I say so myself. Now curve tool, maybe bring that back just a little, there you go. Now we can have a bit of fun with the boats coming in and out and make them make some kind of a system. I don't know, if do boats drive on the left in the UK? I think they do. And I think you can operate a boat drunk. If not, I might be in a load of trouble. But I believe you can drive one of these things drunk. So. What we're going to do, not that you should be doing any of that that I've just suggested, is to push this back just a little. This is going to sound really counterintuitive, but I want to push that back. And then I want to push it all back, actually. I want to make this a different size, yes. I do, I do want to make the port a different kind of size. 
to the outside. You gotta remember there's like three varying heights now. So there you go, we've got the outside port height, which is this height. And then we're gonna soften the terrain on that side, and then we've got our nice relaxing pool of water on the inside. Although it's being flooded right now. So, right, what we want to do is to bring that down to about the size of a road. Or, you know, small on the normal. This is where it gets annoying, these like custom things. You just, you're so used to making just normal things that like this just really annoys you. You just want to just smoothen that out a bit. Now along here, what I want to do is bring in those new sea walls, if you got them. If you got them, you can bring them in, if you haven't. Where are the sea walls again? Hold on. Oh no, what's happened there? Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, playing silly, but silly billies now, aren't I? Come on. Let's do this properly. This is gonna, this could take all day, folks. That's the thing about this game, it's so worth it when you get it just right. And it looks fantastic. Shoreline required, how's that not shoreline? Oh, I, just, I think we've gotta let the water subside. You know, I just had a great idea. Why are we making this so much harder for ourselves than it needs to be? Hold on. Let's drain the water out of here. We're going to push it all back. Every last inch. We're going to push it all the way back. There we go. Now we can design our harbour to our heart's content. Oh, come on, come on. This looks thoroughly boring, but it's actually really therapeutic. Now let's have a look. Just before we lower the, we'll bring this in a bit more. Let's have a look at the fish markets here and the fish stands that we're going to be bringing in. So we have got a fishing harbour down there. We've already got a salmon farm down there. We don't need the anchovy, I don't think. Uh, shellfish there, tuna there, and I don't think we've got any tuna on the map at all. So tuna will be useless to us. And what about this big bad boy? Yeah, it's just a fish farm, we got those. We've got an algae farm, probably won't have those in here. 
and a seaweed farm. Then we've got fish market and everything. So we want these two big bad boys up here for shellfish. No, for anchovy and yeah, shellfish. I was right the first time. So we're going to bring, bring in those two big bad boys, one for anchovy and one for shellfish. So how big are these? Not very big and they need a road to be connected to. Which we didn't really think about, but got a great idea. We can build like just little pontoons, right? Just bring little pontoons out with these things on. That is my game plan. Oh my lord, will this water ever subside? Please go away. Just please. I don't care where you go, but you can't stay here. Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Go home. Ah, <sighs> right. Build this as a basic fish wall for our fishery. And now let's work on the pontoons. And the skiffs and things. Yes, I know my fish terminology, all right? Boom. And I'm going to have another one. Oh, yeah, if we do that, then the boats can't get out. Duh. Right, so we're going to push that back. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to push these jetties that way. And that way. Just to make it a bit more realistic. Let's have a look. Can we squish one of them down without causing massive floods yet again? Oh, we could. Actually, I kind of want this for the passenger boats things. So why don't we make... Boom! Shaka laka laka, got one in. Cool. No, I don't want bridges actually. No, that don't, that looks lame. What if we lay it and then we use the move it mod? Yes, please. Move that. There. Okay, boom, we got that one in. And we got that one in. Wonderful. I'm just, just having a think. Let's put this in now, because it's kind of done anyway. So let's push this in. All the way in, come on. Come on with you. Might regret that one, but here we go. I haven't decided what's going on down here, so we're gonna we're gonna bring that around in a second. So I'm gonna push this in actually. 
trick of water around here. Try and tee that up to there. And what have we got here? We've got two shellfish, right? Two shellfish. Awesome. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what we can put down here. Hold on. Parks. There's all those like leisure facilities, aren't there, that we never normally use, although never really build anything on this scale. No, we're going to push that in just so it's not so dramatic and we get some buildings on the shoreline. Have a look. Anchovy Harbour. Boom. What great luck there. So look, we can get full buildings on the edge now. Wonderful. Oh yeah, you can't really build these things back to back. So what I'm going to do is build an algae farm down here, I think. Or do I swap it over because the algae farm won't need any... Yeah, let's swap it over. Swap it over. Okay, yeah, we'll just put that one there for now. So you see what I mean? The uh, the seaweed farm won't actually need any boats going out. So there you go. It'll take up a nice amount of space, but it won't send any ships out to go to see, but it does look decorative and functional. So that's beautiful there. Okay, got you guys. We're gonna have little things off here as well. And these anchovies. What are we doing with them? Let's see if we can get it in here. Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect on that front. We just need to remove the land from outside the front. Okay, this is looking good. This is shipping up good. This is going to be a very long episode to edit, but, you know, it's going to be good. So there we go. We're going to brush that forward so it's in line with that. I think when this is done, I'm just going to go away for like half an hour and just see how the, the sea settles with it in here. So look, is there any special ones of these that require water? <gasps> yes, there's the boat museum. Oh. Okay, so that needs land. Epic. Okay, might have to push that back a little bit. Yes, hold on. There we go. That looks nice. Oh no, wait, you need to move it up. Sorry, sorry. Because we want to cut that road down to as small as possible, don't we? So there we go. Perfect. And let's wash this in. Flood this area because the boats have got to get past here. It's actually looking really good now. And we haven't even brought in the other side of it yet. Right, what else? What else can we put down here? So you've got the boat museum. It's always worth a check when you're doing an area just to see if there's any theme things. Oh, the floating restaurant could go in here. That'd be kind of a sick place to put it. Actually, we'll put it on the outside somewhere, like, like 
over here. So it encourages people to come to this area. Sea Fort. Hell yes. That is going on the outside as well. So that's probably going to go on the outside of here. Like it was an old sea fort. Oh, that would be excellent. Right, what else can we put down here? This is kind of a weird statue to put down here, so n no. Not for now, Colossus. What about anything here? But yes to the sea fort and yes to the floating restaurant. So... Or anything else? Yes, a marina. Yes, we want to get marinas in here, so let's push this back that way and pop a couple of marinas in. Oh no, you can't! Oh no! Hold on, hold on, don't lose hope, don't lose hope. Definitely need more marinas in here because that just looks awesome. I just had it every time I have it. I just say, like, ah, no, I miss it. You know what? Move it, mod it. There we go. Perfect. Oh, God bless them. The move it mod is genius. Okay, so we've got two of those in. Two of those in, two of those in, two of those in, one of those in, one of those in. Uh, let's get over here with some stuff. Uh, firstly, let's demolish this bit. Actually, we're going to build that out with rocks and stuff. So, boom. Bring all that down. Cool. And let's wipe this out. Just remember, we can move it mod it, and a move it mod is an essential bit of kit in this game. Just because of situations like this, where you really need to move something. Perfect. And we're going to put, just move you over here. Perfect. Okay, right, uh, that's done, that's done, that's done. Cool, 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 cool. I think that's it on the waterfront. I don't think there's any more things, is there? There's a restaurant, there's a fishing tours. And the marina, what's this? A fishing pier, yes. That will be awesome. Yes, that can go there. Perfect, that breaks that up. And one there, why not? Okay, now what we're going to put in here is another anchovy boat thing. And maybe another... Right, so we need to save room for the boats. So, sorry, for the buildings to come along here. Maybe a little bit in here. As you know, no, no, push that back. Yeah, we did leave enough room. I'm just like, did we leave enough room? Yeah, we left enough room. We're just being a bit orphanous. So we're going to put rocks on that as like a big endy thing. Uh, now we have to decide what's going over here. Yeah, uh, that's the one. That's what we are going for. The other one. And then why not put down the, what's it called? Kale farm or something? Was it the kale farm? Let's have a look. Kale farm. Algae farm, close, tastes the same, and boom, I'm going to come off here, actually if we go like that, let me know that, it's that, isn't that clever, angles are awesome, so boom, but um, so because the boats are coming out of here, this is going to be busy, so I want to have the algae farm. Where's our newfound algae farm? 
There's our newfound algae farm. Okay, that might be a bit of a challenge. I mean, it fits, but these boats are going to have to go around. We can make the boats go through the algae farm, right? Yeah, come on. Or, hear me out. We just shift that back just a little. And we move the algae farm. Actually, if we put the algae farm there, then the boats can just skip around it, basically. Yep, I like that. Don't worry about the road, we'll fix that in a sec. Yes. Okay, here we go. The last anchovy farm is going in. Ah, hold on. Two seconds, please call up. Oh, just got that wrong. Nope, anyway. Lucky we've got like 10 million pounds. Like, money is not really a thing to us anymore because the town is working so efficiently that it doesn't actually take too much management. Right, if I put you out here then bring you back in are you going to behave? Huh? Huh? Are you? Yes, thank you. There we go. We'll push this back this around here like that wonderful wonderful and I don't think all piers need to be T-junction do they so we've got boats coming out this one, boats coming out this section, boats coming out that section, boats coming out this section it's gonna be manic and yes that is all good on that front so there's nothing left to do but bring in the sea. Which I don't want to do, but I'm going to have to do. I think this is where I leave it for a half an hour tea while it all floods. Biblically floods. Oh, actually, how do we do this? Soften, wasn't it? few repairs to do in here. Um, what the hell? What the hell? Ah, fine. I will build one of those disaster parks. all at one level. I want you all at this level, please and thank you. Okay, cool. I've got a feeling that might happen again, so I'm going to leave in the old thing. It's not looking bad, is it? A few things on this side and we'll be good as gold. Right, okay. So, let's bring in the water. Okay, power. Is there any water power related things? Nope. Nothing of the sort. Although we could power it off the wind here. Potentially. But no, we're not going to do that. Okay, I'm just going to bring it in off this roundabout for now.
Okay, so to bring the power over just for now. Let's just gently connect that up. Um, plop down some businesses. And there we go, boom. Okay, that's looking good, that's looking good. There we go, maybe if we slope this whole thing, it won't be so harsh. It will actually slow down and impact the water more than if it was just, you know, rigid lines. See what I mean? If it, if it just goes it's going to go up and over, but if it's just a gradual, like, thing, it'll get gradually pushed away. It's my reckoning. That isn't looking half bad, actually. I approve of this, if I do say so myself. Oh, no, it did it again. Touched the wrong bit. So easy to fiddle. Now let's bring on the rocks. They're not really sticking out much like I would necessarily want. Is there any better ones that stick out a bit more? There we go. There's, there's a couple. We want to give this edge of it a you know, like a rocky cliff edge that's breaking up that water before it even gets to the boundary. I spent hours doing this, but I'm going to cut away and come back when it's all done. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just have a look at how nice that looks from above. This is now our harbour area, and it's going to take so long to adjust if I was going to adjust it. But if you look at it, it looks amazing from the sky. I mean, this bit is a little bit bottlenecky. I'll probably move that over or move it over here somewhere where it's got a bit more room to wander. But, um, yeah, it looks... Absolutely brilliant. As you can see, we've peppered the outside with these stones uh, just to give it that natural thing. And then this causeway here or shipping way or lane is here. And now we've just got to flatten out the beach. And that should be done. I think that worked. I think that that did work. I, I, I feel, I believe that worked. Let's see how the boats cope now. So we've extended our beach area, so now it looks like a proper little cove, little pirate cove down here, which looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, so now we just need to root in all the shipping lanes, so let's do that. Go down here to fish, pathways, make a pathway for this one. This one is an anchovy building, right? Just go double check. Yes, it's an anchovy building. So, boom, let's try and keep this natural. Oh, this is going to be chaos, isn't it? Let's try and send them on different paths. It's going to be very hard to keep them away from one another. No, it's, not, it's, it's, going, to, it's going to be near, nigh on impossible. Okay, so this is going to be a left only coming out there. Oh, so they're collecting anchovies straight away. So they can come down here, here. I don't mind about the efficiency this time, mainly because we've got all the uh, anchovies that we need. So these guys can just do this a bit and then come back in. 
I wonder if you can overlap. <gasps> if you can't overlap, like, my plans may be scuppered. There you go. You're going to have to take turns. Filter and merge and all that stuff. There we go. There's one down. There you go. Just moving this over slightly. Okay, right. Let's uh, put number two in. This is not what we expected. So... These captains might be look like they're on their jolly. But they're really not. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, right. I've got a plan. I'm really glad I left it one to a thing. Oh. We're going to do straights from now on. Boom. I think this little guy... <gasps> no! Oh my god, it's getting full. It's getting full. Damn it, 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 damn it. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yes, we will just move it, mod them over. Right. Okay, so you're going to go up there. We've ruined that, haven't we? Oh dear, we can't even tell which one's which. Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. Okay, get back, all of you. This has suddenly become a nightmare. Okay, what we're going to do is going to put that one... There, like that. Okay, right. And then, once you've laid it, you move these ones back, allowing room to get a thing there. You move these ones forward. So yeah, there you go. And you move these ones forward. Then you delete that bit. Like that. And then you move that over. Allowing the next one to go down. Okay, right, we've got it. Boom. 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 Da 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 da. da. There we go. See, I kind of want... So let's push these over, just so that... Oh, hold on, let's have a think. That's good. This is going to be a very crowded area. That's the thing, they're so spaced out. That it should look okay. Right? Oh, that's a big one. Caning it through there. I mean, City Skylines isn't really known for its um, authenticity, like, non avoidable crashes. So, yeah, we've got two more to put in. Maybe I should have just stuck with. One. No, I think we can do it. I think I think it will look good. I'm sorry, I didn't think about this before I started making this. So yeah, four is too many for something. We needed to make that shipping mouth a bit wider, I think. But we can do things like that. Then we can just delete these bits. And then put that there. And as long as that's working, I'm willing to call that a day. I, I'm not going to move that because that, they're getting around that pretty easily. Uh, you no, know, they just went through it. Uh, let's have a look. So there you go. Welcome to our harbour. And I think with our... There 
here we go. We make some really yellow sand, shall we? Boom. Oh, actually, I quite like that now. What if we cover the whole harbour in it? No, that's way too much. Way too much. Maybe along the banks, but not... Yeah, like, mm, yes, no, we will go over with a fine detail comb later on, but that I do like. Actually, yeah, come, come on, let's, let's, let's do this. Just on the outside. Sand up into the rocks and the road. And then whatever colour is on the other side, that's fine. And just going in. Cool. Brush that back. There we go. And that looks pretty sick in my book. Sick meaning good, it's not sick meaning bad. And we'll just brush that out a bit more. Perfect. It's not too much of an issue as long as you don't care about health and safety, but maybe I should have used one or two less of those things. Hold on two secs before we go into summary mode. Oh, yeah, see, they're waiting. They're waiting for each other. Oh, isn't that nice and sensible? Okay, cool. I don't have to worry about health and safety anymore. Yes, so it's been two hours of play. There's going to be lots of editing to do, so let's round this thing up. And I'm really loving the look of this. This looks fantastic at the moment. That, To me, that looks brilliant. I mean, you've got everything you need down here, really. I mean, it looks realistic. It's got the rocks like, coming in. It looks like something you would normally see down the coastline, really. The building's a bit too high line on the shore, but, you know, that's a skyline's problem in general. Lots of traffic coming off here now. That may be a... Nah, they're all going up here, straight onto the motorway. And away they go. So that's not too much of a problem. And we need to build a brack entrance in anyway. So, But we need to finish off this finishing episode of fishing stuff. Because we are now making a lot of fish money. We don't want all those fishes just going straight out the door. So we need to build a fish market and a fish factory. Now, this is going to be noisy, smelly and polluty, so I think if we put it with our other factory, kind of tie in well, and it doesn't tra the fish don't have to travel too far to get there, and it's not particularly overcrowded at the moment. So see, I mean, we've got our two factories over here, we've got factories over here, and um, we've got our big factory over here. So having a middle point would be rather good. So what the fish market does here, the fish market takes fresh fish from harbours and farms and sells it directly to customers without processing it into goods. So that's like if you turned up at like, you know, the really famous one in London, I can't remember what it's called. But if you turn up there, you can buy a fresh fish that's come in from everywhere. And as we can see on this network, they're all using this motorway network to come up. So I think somewhere around here for the fish factory would be good, because it will blend in well. And let's have a look. I, uh, somewhere where, like a fish market. That, that fish market it would be in a kind of like business district of here. And this is seeming quite noisy already. So And we don't want that going too far. Plus we wanted to have good transport links. So... This is a really noisy area, and it will have a lot of foot traffic. So I feel having it come off here, right by the exit to the motorway, would be a great idea. Yeah, we're going to come off that one. Come down to that. We're going to have that come off there. And we are going to put our fish market in here. And in fact, we're going to move it up a little bit and also flatten out that land. 
before we come back. Right, there we go. We've got that coming off there. We're going to delete this bit. And I want to make this... I want to blend it in a bit on our next decoration series. So let's push that there for now just off the beaten path and you know we can bring it in a bit more okay so there you go so that gives us a bit of room to like play about have a park or something where people eat their fish or whatever they do with their fish oh yeah i also made this in the offshoot but you know don't worry it's all good we'll come back over that on the next decoration we'll expand that to be over here and over here as well uh, right, so we've done that. So we got a fish market in. And I think our fish factory should come off here. Something's being a bit fishy at the moment. And here we go. Where's the factory? The factory is here. Oh, damn it. Missed it by one. Oh, no, that's good. I like that. And now if we get some storage units, I wonder if they can store fish. That would look quite cool. Can we, can we put a big one in? Yes, we can. Okay. Can we put fish in here? No, you cannot put fish in there. Fish. Is there a specific fish unit, I guess? No, there isn't. Okay, so you cannot store fish next door. What about the smaller one? I know the smaller one can do a bit more things. Maybe open air fish. Can you store open air fish? No, it's just the same. I may as well move it over here then and give that a bit of space. Hold on. I'm going to have to find out how to store fish products. Just gonna wait for that truck to drop off. Let's do the old trick. So I like the way the path shuts off there, that's why I back up a little bit here. And then bring this out to there, to there, to there. And that just gives it a bit more of an industrial kind of vibe. Putting some warehouses over there, and perfect. Yeah, I think they'll look rather nice there. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for me. So this is also going to help with your not enough goods to sell, because this is going to make commercial goods for the zone. And what's it, what's it complaining about? Oh, it hasn't got enough fish. I doubt that very much. There's tons of fish. Oh, look, you can see loads of people are using our fish market. Wonderful. Just off the transport hub here, you come down and use our fish market. 50 fish sold last week, which is wonderful. And, yeah, you can see all the fish factories are pouring out. Let's have a look at our budget and how much has gone into fish. Oh, wow, you see, yeah. See how last time we were cutting down on expenses? We're now making a ton more money. And uh, look, here you go. We're making, we're selling around about 7,000 fish, 6,000 fish, 5,000 fish. And that costs very little to manufacture. So we're actually making tons of money. And then it being transferred also into, you know, buildings and making stuff. So, yeah, lots of profit here. Look, 80 fish sold. So we're getting like more and more fish sold per week. Everyone loves the fish. And there we go. We need to bring in more people. So that will be another episode next week where we fill in this area. Make this a nice hill and bring in transport down here as well. I feel would be a good episode to watch. Maybe make that a ye olde section. So I think my voice is officially going to crack because it's been over two hours now. So, But that harbour, to me... 
looks brilliant. And now we are in summary mode and we have created a really awesome harbour. It's taken quite a while, it's still not finished. We still need to decorate this bit and that bit, but we've got our new buildings in all but tuna because we don't have any tuna in this area. And you know, you can see over here, this is how it started and our little fish farm here. And now we have put in our fish factory over here and our fish market right beside a very busy and noisy place where people can just come over, get their fish and then go home. Uh, when they're coming home, they just come over here and boom, they're away, they're home, they've got fish for dinner, little fishy for dinner. Uh, that is how you create an awesome profit with fish by laying all that down. Can you put more of these down? Let's just have a little experiment. I think it's only one, isn't it? No, you can put more down. <gasps> we can have a fish market next to a fish factory. Oh, and we could put another fish market on the other side of town. Ooh, the possibilities are endless with fish. But as you can see, okay, not at the moment, but we do normally make a healthy profit, as you saw through video. And I am going to leave it there and say, because my voice is going, as you can tell, and I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, have a lovely day, and I will see you guys on my next episode. Bye boy I hope you enjoyed that and remember to like, subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. Oh, we've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.